Hello guys, and today I'm going to show you a couple of chess games I played recently where my opponent, King, was basically um, trapped because they could not move. Now I know that's the whole point of the game, obviously, but what I mean is, is that, you know, they seem to be unnecessarily trapped. You know, they probably didn't realise they were trapped until it was too late. I know you might say, well, that's the whole point of the game. But what I'm saying is they probably didn't even see it coming. That's the point. So you have to make sure that you do not have your king trapped. Okay? So I'm going to show you two games where the king was trapped, where the trap is not blatantly obvious initially. Right, so let's look at the first game. Okay? My favourite opening, because absolutely nobody does it but me, I think. Um, moving the king rook pawn to places. The reason I do this for people who don't watch my videos is to discourage castling. Got them into check. They've took a pawn. I get them into check. They then move their king now I get them into check they move a pawn to try to stop that there was nowhere else they could have gone to I believe well, there was a way, but it would be pointless. They could have... Um, oh, no, they couldn't. That was the only thing they could do to actually stop it. And I'll show you why in a moment. Checkmate. And if you went back a few... At this point... The king's, um, the black king, doesn't look trapped. It doesn't look very vulnerable at this point. You know, you did not see a checkmate coming very quickly at this point. As I said, they took a pawn. I wasn't particularly bothered about that pawn. Going back again. I got them into check. It probably wasn't a lot they could actually do, actually. Um, because I don't think they could actually do anything at this stage anyway. Because if I go back a minute and see, the only other alternative I think they could do... They could, the only... Let's see where they went to. Yep. So if the only other position they could have gone to... Which would have been a legal move, I think. There were two things. One, they could have simply sacrificed um, a knight. Then, I could have taken the knight. They could have sacrificed a queen. Then I might have been in trouble. I could take the queen. Now it would possibly be harder for me to get checkmate at this point. I probably lost because of pieces. 
but it would be harder for me to get checkmate apart from just winning on pieces going back if I instead go back again did that and I took a knight or even if that wouldn't be much point because I could simply take the pawn off I can move the But then again, it's the same thing. So the only other place they could have moved to, if they just didn't move the knight and move the pawn looking, they could also, as I said, just move queen out. But I've already shown you that. So they lose the queen. So the only way I think they'll be back into the game is by sacrificing the queen. I can't see any other way, truthfully. Um, the only league, other legal move they could have gone to was here. And it's exactly the same problem as it was earlier. Check. There is only one move they can do, which is to move the pawn, and it's checkmate again so the only way for them to get out of that and from what I can tell is to sacrifice their queen but they didn't because they didn't realize going back this far their king seemed fairly safe and they didn't realize their king was pinned in and they didn't want to lose their queen okay so that's one game now let's look at another game Right, now, this game took rather longer, okay? Not sure why I moved it just one, one pit, um, square, probably a mistake. Sometimes I do strange experimental things. My aim wasn't to play well in this, my aim was to play differently, just to see what would happen. Now, here, the idea being, if he takes my knight, I take his knight. So I'm up a pawn here. For some reason I do not understand he took a pawn rather than a knight, my knight. I don't understand why he did that, but or I'm or she. Um I haven't followed the gender of the my opponent. I haven't looked into it. Don't worry. Now I can take the pawn, which is getting rather dangerous.
A lot of things are just happening at this stage of time. Where I, I very rarely have a castle in recent times, but this seems to be a time when I was a bit worried because of the Queen and other things potentially going on. Now my idea here is somehow to find a way so I can trap his knight, I believe. I'm now threatening to take the rook. Will he take it? Nope. Moving the knight out. This allows me to move the bishop in a moment. He decides to threaten my knight and my queen. I instead decide to go for check. Now, I sacrifice a knight here and it looked on the surface that I just wanted to do that so that I could take a bishop. It's not. Because the king is totally pinned in, the only move that it can make is to take my knight. Now, I threaten the king with my bishop. Again, the king is totally pinned in. It simply cannot move. The only thing that white can do, the only legal move they can do, is to take my bishop. I then take the bishop with my queen and because it's protected by the rock it cannot be taken off. Checkmate. Now let's go back a few moves shall we? At this point, if you had noticed this originally, you would have thought this was a very clever move by White and that they were simply um, offering a knight exchange. Um, 
you, you would not have thought that the next move would have been the start of a checkmate. You would have assumed the next move would be me taking that knight off and maybe offering a queen exchange. So what they hoped I would do was something like this. And then immediately I have a choice of either offering a queen exchange, taking having a queen exchange, or also wait a minute. Also, yes, it's even worse, I've just realised. You see, I was wrong. Yep, so. So. If I take this. If I go back. If instead I had taken the queen, this knight, then immediately they have a choice. They can either, this is now a queen exchange. So now if they take my queen, I take their queen. But I also lose a knight in the process. Wait a minute. Also, I could take their queen right now. I could take my queen right now. Wait a minute. Alternatively, I could protect. I don't know. Alternatively, I could have protected the um, knight for now. The queen would then have to protect itself, otherwise, it would lose the queen. If they now took my knight, I could take their queen. As I said, I do not think when they saw me initially just appearing to defend my queen. They never foresaw that their king would be pinned in and that they would lose so quickly. Because their king was pinned in and they didn't even realise until it was too late. As I said, if you've gone back to here, at this point it would look as if white was had the advantage. It looked like um, unless I wanted a queen exchange, and I think maybe, or maybe they did see a problem and thought, let's get rid of the, the queens. And he was offering a queen exchange because he could see that he wasn't doing so well. So there you go. Um, problems that can occur if the king is pinned in and it's not obvious until it's too late. In many cases you can see it coming. With this particular case and the previous one, I don't think they were blatantly obvious um, until it was too late that the king was pinned in.
And as I said, when I did what I did, I wasn't particularly interested in taking pieces. In fact, quite the opposite. Originally, I sacrificed an, a knight purely to get the checkmate. Also, another way that thing I could have done instead is I could have taken the knight with my queen instead. Queen takes queen. Bishop takes um, queen. Checkmate. And while it wouldn't be look as good because I've I've lost a queen to do it rather than losing a bishop to do it, it does in some ways look more impressive that you can checkmate with two bishops and a rook. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.